Hey, hope you guys are doing well. I guess I'm solo marketer here, and in this video, I want to quickly show you how to sell physical products, not digital, physical products with System.io. And uh, yeah, essentially, we're going to go through uh, setting up the products first, uh, product, products, whatever amount of products you would need. And uh, we're going to set up a simple sales page with a thank you page, and then we're going to do a test purchase just to see how it works. So yeah, let's get right to it. So the first thing we need to do is we need to go to products, physical products over here, right? As you can see, this is a free account. I think even on a free account, there's no limit when it comes to products. So, you know, you can do as many as you want. You can create a collection. Uh, but yeah, over here, let's create a first one. Let's click on create top right. So we're going to be selling coffee mugs in this case. So let's do that. Uh, I don't know. Let's get our edition branded mugs whatever the description might be you'll see later where it shows up uh, SKU you just click on it this is basically like a what is it stock keeping unit if I remember correctly it's like a tracking or identification code for each type of uh, coffee mug let's say you have several types of mugs or just different types of products all of them need to have different codes to identify let's say you have a large black mug small black mug right they had they need to have different SKUs so you'll see in a bit what that looks like they're gonna have different codes uh, product tax whatever it is you know if you're in Europe maybe it's a little bit higher if you're in the States it might be zero might be 10 maybe 13 if you're in certain Canadian provinces you know whatever your product sales VAT HST whatever taxes and then yeah currency put in the usual currency don't change around do Canadian here US there just one currency and then there will be no no issues essentially uh, and yeah for the price let's do something like that right weight uh, we can do I don't even know how much a mug weighs let's do 200 grams for example uh, this one is uh, if you specify weight, you can later set different shipping fees for different weights, which can be a different video, but not in this video. That's a little bit too much. There might be at the end of this one, there might be another video that shows how to set the shipping fees based on location, weight, price, all that stuff. Uh, but yeah, this is kind of one of the things you can specify here. And then based on this weight uh, in grams, uh, the shipping fees might differ. So since this is a physical product and I assume you don't have a warehouse with like 10,000 units, uh, where it doesn't really maybe matter as much and you're probably not going to hit the limit uh, But yeah in this case, uh, let's just say you have I don't know 100 units limit, right? Uh, you have 100 units and as people buy it automatically decreases this number of available units uh, as for shipping Keep this as is by default, but here it says disable shipping fees for this product. So if you click on it, there's no shipping fees. We're going to leave it out. Again, like I said before, this might be a separate video on all the shipping fee stuff. It's a fairly recent feature as of recording this video. Uh, so yeah, we can look into that. Uh, you can upload your image here uh, if you have just one product, but I'm going to do variations, right? This product has options such as size and color. So let's click on it. Uh, yeah, first one will be color right we're going to be doing black white yellow right we're going to have three colors and then we're going to do size we're going to do 12 ounce and 16 ounce i assume it's reasonable sizing for a mug i'm just guessing just to give you like an example so yeah we'll have like what is it yeah quite a few variations basically so over here you can see yeah six different variations they all have automatically generated SKUs those stop stock keeping units so what we need to do here we need to specify uh, be more specific when it comes to like how many units in stock do we have maybe we have like 26 of these maybe we have you know 50 of these whatever right you specify the amounts you specify the price so in this case, let's say the base price is $19.95, maybe for like a, for a small one, right? Or medium, whatever you want to call it for the 12 ounce, it's going to be $19.95. And maybe for the big ones, or 99, I think it was 99. Let's do, let's correct this. So let's do nine. So, right. So 16 ounce, maybe those are going to be more expensive, right? So you can do that for another 16 ounce over here. And uh, yeah. These checkboxes, these are basically, if you select them, you can delete certain variants, uh, but we don't need to delete anything. Uh, we need to add images because then it looks better. If it's an e-commerce store, images are vital. Uh, I think it's just one image per variant. Yeah, there's no like selection, no, no carousel, nothing like that as far as I remember. So yeah, let's just add some images that we have on our computer. 
click on black and then yeah i'm just going to add the images so here's our image let's click to upload obviously it's going to be the same for this one it already has the image here right then i'm going to add the other two as well so here's the white one we just uploaded from the computer let's select it here as well and let's select the yellow one and the yellow one a little bit inconsistent i just found these online obviously don't do that for your e-commerce store actually take pictures of your own product but just for example's sake i just found them i just googled uh, so yeah we have six variants we'll see later what that looks like on the sales page where they can select their variants but yeah overall this is good when it comes to product setup with its different variants so let's click on save so here it is uh, you can go back and edit it you can delete it all that stuff right uh, and now we want to go and create a, a sales page so here we go to websites sales funnels uh, let's create a new one so let's do I don't know, coffee mug sale for example uh, our goal is to sell so let's click on sell us dollar just like i said before keep one currency make sure they match otherwise there might be issues if this is us dollar but in the product setup it's euros or canadian dollars or whatever there might be issues uh not guaranteed but it's better not to tempt fate uh so yeah let's click on this one it's an active funnel for the order form i'm just going to collect uh, select something just to give you like an example of what it looks like i'm not going to dive too deep into like whatever the copywriting should we should be doing but yeah let's just select this one for example uh so yeah we need to add the product right we just created the physical product let's add it let's add the physical product here this is the only one let's just delete these suggested things let's click on it save simple as that we just added it uh, there's going to be some, some nuance on the sales page things that we need to do for us to be able to sell all the different variants so uh, stick with me uh, and as for coupons we're going to be adding obviously you can create a new one uh, just create a new coupon that's a hundred percent discount in my case i already have one percentage discount 100 percent safe we're going to use this coupon for a test purchase but yeah you can create a new one as well there's like an option it's pretty straightforward uh order bump you can create as well but that's not vital at this point uh link same thing you can kind of change the url path whatever and as for the thank you page just select something you can do like this and then you can change the image change the text in the thank you page like thank you your order has been confirmed we're processing it whatever check your email for a confirmation email all that stuff right whatever you put on a thank you page uh, or it can also be an upsell page as opposed to thank you page but for now it's just gonna be an order page and a thank you page as simple as it gets we're, we're just trying to sell mugs over here uh, so yeah we have the order form we have the product connected we have the discount we're gonna test it out so let's go in and set up the uh, because it's not here yet uh, let's just take this obviously you can change the I don't know get our limited edition branded coffee mug uh, whatever you might say here right I'm, I'm going to delete all the rest of this stuff obviously you can leave like your support email all that stuff I'm just going to free it up here this all depends on how you want to do it but uh, I'm just going to free it up here just so you can see what are the most vital elements but obviously these are important i'm just going to clear them out just so only the important stuff for now let's go here let's slide this here and there's a missing element right there's a form obviously we need to know their address because we need to know where to send it right their physical or, or kind of like shipping address that's all fine and dandy so you might want to add extra fields over here uh let's say let's duplicate this so instead of company name let's click on it uh, we want to have something like a uh billing address so let's say uh, street address let's duplicate this one more time let's click on this uh, i'm duplicating them just so the format stays the same for all the fields so yeah and for this one instead of street address it's going to be state slash province and then let's duplicate this again and then let's click on this one it's going to be uh i don't know like a uh, zip code and then obviously let's click on it again duplicate it and country yeah over here country so like that uh because yeah that's all the stuff needed for actual physical products to be sent so we know where to send them so yeah it's kind of you can remove some things as well like a phone number or last name i don't know if you need those but if you need them keep them if you don't don't let's save it oh never mind the product element is required so in this case it will be uh, the physical product element right since we have a connected physical product it doesn't even let us save the page so this thing let's drag it in uh, when it comes to the actual layout of things that's kind of up to you obviously whatever works for you but you can uh, you can change things around a little bit you can drag them let's try it there we go you can do this 
uh, you can do one of these elements above and then the other element below, right? You can start with this and then you have the old fillable information below. Whatever works for you, whatever style you like, we're going to do it this way. And here you can see there's all kinds of things they can select. Uh, another thing I would add, since we're going to do a test purchase, but you can keep it in for people as well. It's like, hey, we have a Black Friday sale. Here's a coupon for 50% off. So you can do that as well. Uh, so we need a coupon field, right? Let's drag it in. Again, layout, that's up to you. I'm just kind of showing you the functionality of it all. Uh, so let's save changes. And the rest of it you can see here. You can change the button color, right? Click on it, change the color. That's all the same stuff. And this is an offer price element. This shows the outline of, uh, yeah, the product itself, the tax, the total. If there's shipping fees, which is a different element, like I mentioned before, that can be shown here as well. And this is where they select their payment type of uh, payment that they can do. They can do credit card. They can do PayPal if you have PayPal connected and whatever your options are. So, yeah, let's click on save changes and let's go do a test purchase. Let's go back. Uh, what was the code? 100 off. Yeah, we're going to use that code. Uh, let's go check out the page. There we go. Not the prettiest in the world, but it's functional. So this is what it looks like. Obviously, you can you can select the, the quantity, right? It's one twenty dollars plus tax, right? So it's twenty two fifty nine. So if we select three, it's going to be sixty seven, right? So the, the quantity as well, that kind of plays uh, a part. Uh, I think you can disable it as well. I don't remember. Yeah, I think you can disable the quantity thing. But for physical products, quantity is fine. For digital products, it doesn't make sense. Uh, color, right? Remember the variance? We added the six images. This is where it kind of applies. So this is kind of cool. Uh, and yeah, also yellow. As you change the sizing, the price changes. So this is really nice and simple. Uh, While well, system.io may be not might not be like your go-to uh, platform to do to sell physical products right there's better options out there but it's good for like the all-in-one like a nine-in-one ten-in-one functionality right there's like the sales funnels you can build courses website blog all kinds of cool stuff and this is just an extra element and uh and yeah and it does the job pretty well it, it collects the payment and it kind of the inventory is uh, check is pretty good so yeah let's do the test purchase and then I'll show you where to find that in the back end. All right, so we have made the purchase. This is the thank you page. Remember on the left side, there are two pages, the, the order page, the thank you page. Obviously, you can go on a thank you page, edit stuff, because this is, you know, maybe you have a picture of a mug or, or kind of, yeah, all this information, support email, all that stuff, change it up as well. Uh, but yeah, as for now, let's go back to check the orders, uh, the order history. So if you're gonna go to products, orders, there was an order made just now, right? Uh, in this case, it says payment was not created because I used a 100% coupon. But yeah, the payment status that will show up here if it's an actual purchase. And uh, yeah, here's all the information. You can click on it, go check out which product it is, right? Let's click on it. Here's the product. We can go back. And here's, you're going to see the list and also order fulfilled. This is kind of, kind of how you manually, you can, you know, here it says not fulfilled. You can fulfill it and then mark the order as fulfilled. And that's it. Simple as that. So yeah, this is as simple as it gets, but it gets the job done. It's uh, yeah, it's really simple. So you see it 15 minutes to set up. Maybe if you want to make it prettier and all that stuff it might take you 30 minutes, but pretty straightforward. And yeah, uh, by the time you're watching this video, there might be another video on uh, setting up the shipping fees and all that stuff. For now, if you want to keep it simple, you can just include them into the price or yeah, see if at the end of this video, there's another one that shows that shows you how to set up a shipping fees. But yeah, that's it for this one. Like, subscribe, all that YouTube stuff if you like the video. And hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Bye.